Hi, my name is Colton Hawks. Hi, my name is Trace Hogan, and our project is the Animal Water Monitor, and we are using a particle photon, and uh, the code on it is basically looking for a, a complete circuit when you have water, and when you don't have water, it's an incomplete circuit, and at that point, it breaks out of the loop, and it uses push bullet to uh, send you a notification that you need to water your livestock or whatnot. We have a chicken water here, but we kind of want to branch out and do a little bit of every type of animal so it's not just confined to one thing. So uh, Colton's going to tell you how everything works right here. Alright, so uh, you got your power supply and your USB cord supplied with uh, the photon that's on the breadboard. You're going to connect it and you'll get a flashing green light. So at ground we've got the uh, bottom um, screw to uh, that's the ground for the water and then the D, D naught is the positive or the top screw and once the water gets down below the top screw the circuit is um, incomplete which sends the notification from push bullet to your phone which lets you know that you need to feed your or water your livestock. And we're going to wait on the uh, photon to hook up with the Wi-Fi and get settled in with their code on it. It should just start breathing a blue here in just a second. And when you have a complete circuit, the uh, LED light should be off. And then as you can see in a minute, when you have an incomplete circuit, the blue light will come on. Alright, we're going to drain some of the water here so we can show you all. So now the blue light has uh, LED has come on, and now we should be getting a message on our phone here. Sometimes it takes a little bit for your message to process, there but it there is. it is. All right, along with our code, we uh, published our data to uh, if this then that, and then sent it to Google Drive, and it's on the Google spreadsheet. And so uh, we've graphed, and you can see where you don't see the blue and you see the white gaps that's where we haven't had any water and uh, where you've got all the blue is where we have had water alright so now we're gonna tell it or tell you how the uh, two photon particles talk to one another alright so we went into our code and so they are basically in sync and what's going to happen is is instead of having the water we have these two wires and basically we have plenty of water but what we want to do is for one to register that we do not have water and send this information to the other one and then start doing an action. And it just so happens that this action is the uh, blue LED flashing that we've coded into it. The only thing is is that we're using if then and that and it is super slow on communicating back and forth. So we're probably going to have to edit this and uh, you'll see how long it is but uh, we're about to separate the wires and you'll see the blue light come on on one of them and after that it's going through if then and that going to the other particle and then they that one should start blinking and then so should this one so let's see how it goes Again, this takes like 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, it's even <laughs> set on if, then, and that, that some functions could be delayed up to an hour. So, But so far it hasn't been that long. It's usually taken about like 6 or 7 minutes. But this would be a really good time to like speed up the video. Make us look crazy. Move around really fast. So that one has started. Now it'll take the photon I have in my hand at least another five or six seconds. Or more.
There we go. So there, the data has been transferred from one to another. Yep. And that should blink, I think, 19 times that yeah, we put in the code. Yeah, that's what we had it set to. And so now, after it gets done doing its thing, we're going to show you how we can transfer data from that one to this one. So back to our handy dandy wires. So it reads that there's plenty of water in the um, water, that there, the connection is complete. Now Patrice will unplug it. There we go. No so less water. Light comes on. Again, we're still getting the text messages. Yeah, Once you, that comes through, it transfers. Yep, now we have a text. <laughs> I have like 50 million notifications by now between testing and everything. <laughs> now that one starts There we go. So now they successfully talk to each other and it's in our code. Alright guys, so that's our project. Uh, we've had fun working with this project and learning a little bit more about the IoT world and uh, hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you.